Hello everyone, my name is Faye Sharafuddin and today I'm going to be showing you how you can automate your standard based comments using Google applications and add-ons. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in your drive and you want to create a new folder. And you want to name the folder Report Card Comments, like the one I've already pre-created. Once the folder is created, it should be empty. I already have this done from before, so ignore that. And you're going to be creating a new document. You want to name this document Comment Template, and this will serve as our template, and we're going to be using it later on. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the following template, and um, you have two options. You can either create a copy of this and put it into the folder that you've just created, or just simply copy the text and add it into the document, not there, into the document that you've just um, created. Now that that's done, we're going to go back to the folder and you're going to create a new form. Okay? And you want to call your form something like your class name, comments, and which quarter you're writing the comments for. Um, you're going to be creating a new or adding a new question, and the question should uh, basically you should uh, name it student name. And you should either select the checkbox or the multiple choice option. One of the two is fine. Then you're going to be writing your student names in alphabetical order, and you want to use the same spelling that you would want uh, to appear on the report card. Um, make sure that you have the uh, first letter capitalized, and you can either have the student's first name only, or you can have the full, the full name of the student. It's up to you. Once you have all the students' names uh, either copied or written down, you're going to go ahead and create a new question, add question, and you're going to call this Mastered Standard. And essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding all the standards that you have used in this particular quarter and you want to appear again uh, or you want to assess the students on in the report card. Um, now, keep in mind that when you copy the standard or when you write it down, make sure that the first letter is not capitalized, okay? Um, and you'll see why this is relevant later on. So the first letter of the standard or the sentence should not be capitalized. Um, and once that's done, you're going to go ahead and duplicate this question. So you're going to go ahead and duplicate this question. And essentially, it's just going to create a copy of all the standards that you've done. The first set, you're going to name Mastered Standard. And the second set, you're going to name Unmastered Standard. And finally, you're going to create one more question by clicking on the plus one more time. And you're going to call this question Other Comments, or you're going to label it Other Comments. So by the end of it, your form should look something like this. You have the title here. You have the student names in alphabetical order. You have the master standards, you have the unmastered standards, and finally, the other comments. Now that that's complete, you're going to go ahead and click on the preview button. So we're going to be filling out the, our comments for each of the students. And you do that by clicking on the first student and then selecting the standard that this particular student has mastered, for example, this and then selecting the particular standard that the student has not mastered, for example, this. Finally, you want to add any other comments that you feel is relevant for that particular student or any additions beyond the standard comments that you want to uh, either recommend that the student will do for the next term or a specific points that he can improve on uh, besides the standards uh, that, that, have, that were already mentioned. So, for example, let's say I want him to improve or work on um, reviewing uh, daily. Okay, submit. We're going to click on submit another response and now you're going to be filling out the second student's um, uh, information. So select the master standard for the second student and the unmastered standard and let's assume that the student, I don't, I don't really have any other comments um, for them to, uh, you know, uh, for them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on submit. 
And you're just going to keep doing this for all of the students. And once you have everyone completed, you're going to go ahead and go back into your form and click on responses. Once you have the responses page opened up, you're going to click on create spreadsheet, create new spreadsheet, And once you're in your spreadsheet, you're going you're gonna to have to download, if you don't already have this, um, a new add-on called AutoCraft. So uh, if you don't already have it, um, you're just going to click on Get Add-ons and search for AutoCraft. And once it's downloaded, you're going to click on Launch. Now, AutoCraft is an add-on that essentially will take all the responses that are present in your Google Form or in this spreadsheet in particular, and merge them with the template that we've already created previously. And essentially, it will allow you to create a cohesive paragraph using different submissions that are found in this spreadsheet that you've already created. So we're going to go ahead and click on New Job. And you can name it anything you want. I'm going to call it 9A quarter one C and we're going to click on next. Then we're going to go ahead and choose templates. So the template that the program is going to be using to write your comments. Now you have two options. You can either select from your drive or um, if you've already used the template, uh, this is for later on, you can just go ahead and select it from the recently used templates. You shouldn't have this already because you haven't done this before. So you're going to go ahead and click select from drive. And you're going to click on or select the template document that we've already done. And you're going to click on next. Okay, so you're going to have uh, the next step is you're going to make sure that each, um, I don't know what they would call this, standard, I guess, or so each um, selection on the Autocrat application matches up. Uh, these two should match up. So the student name matches with student name, master standard should match here, and master standard should match here. And finally, other comments, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we select other comments. So the fields that are present on both your um, Google Form and Spreadsheet should match the um, fields that were presented to you in the Autocrat application. Next, we're going to name it one more time. Um, so again, I'm going to call it 9A um, quarter uh, two comments or C. And this is where you want to um, make sure you select the following. So the type of um, document we want is a Google Docs, that's fine. But instead of clicking on multiple output mode, I'm going to go ahead and click on single output mode. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on no. Basically, this means that when your comments are created, they will be created on one Google Doc page document. And um, instead of uh, putting each comment on a separate page, which will take up too much space, um, it will just add all the comments on one page and add some uh, uh, spacing between uh, one comment and the next. So this is what we want to be selected. We're going to go ahead and click Next, and then we're going to choose the folder where you want this document to be created. Ideally, of course, you want to cl uh, click on the Report Cart Comment folder that you've uh, already done. So it's already selected for us. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Ignore number six, just put next, ignore number seven, and we don't want to share our documents, so we're just going to go ahead and click next. And then ignore number nine, so just click save. And once the job is done, we're going to go ahead and click on run, so this play button right here. And once the job is done and the application has basically merged your um, submissions on the Google um, sheet and uh, use the template that you've created, it's going to show up in your um, folder right here and 
oh no, not right, sorry, this one right here. And we're gonna go ahead and, let me just double check if the, uh, yes, it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, um, the comments have been created using your original template. So for example, my first selection, Abdul Latif is fully able to explain, and then it talks about the uh, standard that he was able to master, and but needs to continue to work on, and then mentions the standard that he did not master. And um, for the students that I've added the additional comments, you will notice that they have the additional comments at the end of the, you know, the, the comment that was written or created. And that's about it. You pretty much just saved on hours of uh, potentially writing comments one by one. And hopefully this helps.